The Whitehead Institute is a freestanding, independently governed and financed research institute. We're closely affiliated with MIT, but our research programs are wholly contained within our buildings. We're in the business of producing cutting edge basic science and training the next generation of leaders in biology. When we set up the Whitehead Institute, that is David Baltimore, Bob Winder, Jerry Fink, and myself, the whole crux of the Institute was going to be making it collaborative. We encourage collaboration in every way we can think of. We start with the architecture of the building in which labs are intermingled with each other. We go from there to social settings that we create social hours, retreats, forum where students and, and postdocs from different labs present their work to each other, faculty lunches where faculty inflict their, their most forward-looking ideas on each other for feedback. We do everything we can to create opportunities for uh, trainees and faculty working in different areas to find each other and in, inside each other's conversations and uh, unexpected and unscheduled good things happen that way. On a yearly basis, we come to our institute's retreat in New Hampshire, where the whole institute comes together and one sees the, the, and discusses the science in other groups. Rudolf and I began collaborating uh, about 15 years ago after this trip into the Himalayas. Whitehead offers many opportunities for collaboration. Uh, you get close to one another. So I think the essence of, of the collaboration with Rick Young's lab and my lab is that Rick's lab is an expert in genomic uh, technology like uh, gene expression, uh, sequencing. We are an expert in the biology of these cells, like uh, growing the cells, differentiating embryonic stem cells, reprogramming somatic cells to embryonic stem cells. Now, the goal for us is to understand what is a stem cell or what is involved in, in converting a somatic cell, like a skin cell, to an embryonic stem cell or to an iPS cell. There we need all these, this technology. So he is the expert in the genomic assays, we are not. We are an expert in the biology, he is not. So we combine our forces and we complement our expertise and this way we can do experiments and come to um, uh, insights which no, none of us could do alone. And then I remember the lecture that Hedda Ploch gave at the Whitehead retreat last year and got in touch with Hedda and within 30 minutes we had the whole research agenda worked out and within two months we essentially had the money for the project. And the technology that we had developed could be married perfectly to uh, the technology in Harvey's lab in which they study the development of red blood cells and tissue culture. The fact is, uh, we couldn't make gene-modified red cells without the technology that he has described. We've just started this project in which we will try to modify red blood cells, and these red blood cells can then be reintroduced into either humans or mice and used to track their trafficking behavior. They might be used to deliver payloads to interesting sites. Uh, so we're quite excited by that. Well, the implications of uh, these successful collaborations are that we need to continue to collaborate. It's been a very valuable experience having people with very different scientific expertise and really world-class expertise coming together to solve a problem that's bigger than any one of us could handle alone. To do modern science, you constantly have to reinvent yourself. That is, the problems that we worked on 10 years ago are either solved or have become much less interesting. And technology advances, research equipment advances, and really the questions that we can ask, the depth that we can probe our research problems expands over time. And it's wonderful to be in an environment like Whitehead where you have colleagues who can keep you up to date with their latest technologies and their latest developments, and that's how research advances. It's very difficult to do modern science by yourself now. We like to attract here at Whitehead the most wildly creative, most productive minds and provide an atmosphere, a collegial atmosphere, and the resources with which people can realize their dreams within these walls. 
um, and in many cases then go on and, and carry that vision of a very creative, dynamic biology on to other places around the country and around the world.